our next guest is a, a blogger and a filmmaker and uh, also an uninsured uh, father. And we want to show you a little bit of a video that he put together on YouTube. I was a big Barack Obama supporter during the election. I voted for him. I worked for him. I made phone calls for him. I can't support Barack Obama anymore. I have no idea what he stands for. I don't trust him. And that was the voice of Lee Stranahan, who joins us now live via Skype from New Mexico. And, and first, talk about the, the rationale for this, why you felt like this was a, a message that you wanted to get out, and why now? Well, uh, when I made the video, you can probably tell from my voice, it was about 3 in the morning. And um, <laughs> I had just heard that Barack Obama was specifically telling the House to back off, that he was going to push the Cadillac tax. And I remembered that Newport News speech that he'd attacked McCain on the Cadillac tax. And so I kind of quickly downloaded that Newport News speech, uh, which was about a month before the election, where Barack Obama was against this Cadillac tax. And I really feel for the congressman you just had on. He's obviously a good-hearted, uh, you know, progressive Democrat who is trying to defend Barack Obama violating four campaign promises. He said he wouldn't raise taxes. He said he was against the Cadillac tax. He said that uh, he would have open, transparent discussions of this. And uh, and there's a fourth one, and I'm losing it right now, of course. But uh, but it's in it's in the video. Uh, Barack Obama, the fact that he is arguing with the unions. If you told me when I voted for Barack Obama, uh, 18 months you know 18 months ago when I was supporting him, if you told me that he'd be arguing against the unions for the Cadillac tax. I would have thought you were crazy. I would have okay, said, there's no way. He's against it. It's very clear. Why would that happen? Right, so but, I, Mr. Stranahan, but now uh, you, you saw that the unions were at the White House this week, and they seem to have exacted uh, a deal here that they, for their members specifically, that seems uh, uh, what they were looking for in the sense of having them exempt from this kind of tax. Now, there are lots of non-union members where this Cadillac tax is still going to hit, apparently. Um, is that an okay sort of splitting of the baby for you? Well, I, there's two things about that. Number one, I think the unions showed that hitting hard against Obama, that coming back and not laying down and not being afraid gets results. Because if you looked at the statement that the firefighters union made, they made the same points I made in the video. This violates campaign promises. Right. He shouldn't be doing it. And I think a lot of Democrats are way too... Uh, they just lay down. They don't want to take on the president because they're afraid of, oh, Sarah Palin. And you know what? You, you, you lose when that happens. Politics is not for wimps. So if you're just going to let the president roll you every time, that's what's going to happen. And I also have to say that I'm going to give the unions credit for trying to get that for everybody. They ended up just getting it for their own members. But I know that they were trying to get an across-the-board thing. And the fact that they're having to argue against this, against Barack Obama, is really disappointing to me as uh, Obama support. I can't believe it, really. What, do you, what, do you, what does it mean to you personally as you look toward 2010? Obviously, a key congressional election year. We've got the big election uh, on Tuesday in Massachusetts. Do you get a sense? Are you, are you saying... You know, is, is your frustration going to be carried to the point where you say uh, you can't really work for Democratic candidates, or is it is it more Obama specific? No, it's it's Obama. <laughs> it's it's Obama. I mean, I I I feel like I was deceived. I, I honestly feel like the changes that happened were so quick. This is not a case of a guy who genuinely tried to keep his campaign promises. Came up against a system that was tricky. He was making backroom deals with pharma right away. He was he he never even tried to get the transparency for the negotiations that he talked about at least eight times on the campaign trail, which is one of the reasons I, I supported him. So, you know, to me, this is very specifically about Obama, and I, I think that he's in trouble for 2012, but I think he's put the Democrats, by being a transparent liar, I don't know how else to put it, when you say one thing on video very clearly, and then you do exactly the opposite when you're in office. You're handing the Republicans campaign commercials. They might as well just say to them, hey, hey here you go. Merry Christmas. Um, and so I, I think that this is not just bad policy, which I think it's horrible policy, but I think it's very, very, very bad politics. Lee Stranahan, and, and thank you very much for joining us uh, via Skype today. We appreciate you being here and sharing your views. Thank you, sir. Take thank care.
We want to make sure to tell you what's coming up on this week, this Sunday. Uh, Jake Tapper will be hosting this week uh, on Sunday, and they will be talking about Haiti, of course. Guests are Lieutenant General Keene, who's in charge of the military effort down there, and Dr. Rajiv Shah, the USAID administrator, who's been on the job for about two weeks. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Twitter.com slash The Note. Thank you.